Hello everyone. Hope all you are good in this situation. Myself Tebojit Boyddo Chaudhuri, bearing roll number FEM 19017, Department of Food Engineering and Technology, Tejpur University, Assam. Today I am presenting on microwave food processing a review under the guidance of Professor Charulata Mohanta. Now moving to the next slide which is contents. The contents of my presentation are introduction and principle of microwave heat heating, microwave assisted infrared tempering, microwave assisted ultrasonication, microwave drying, microwave cooking, microwave blanching, microwave pasteurization, microwave sterilization, microwave heating, dielectric properties, conclusion and finally the references. Now moving to the next slide which is introduction here microwave heating has vast application in the field of food processing over a period of several decades microwaves are electromagnetic waves with frequencies ranges from 300 megahertz to 300 gigahertz the application of microwave heating in food processing include drying, pasteurization, sterilization, thawing, tempering, baking of food materials and many other things etc. Microwave heating has gained popularity due to its ability to achieve high heating rates, significant reduction in cooking time, more uniform heating, safe handling, ease of evaporation and low maintenance. A recent trend is the concept of hybrid or combination mode or otherwise called microwave assistant food processing technologies which infers that utilization microwave to enhance conventional or non-conventional food processes which consequently obtaining high end products. In particular, microwave drying has many advantages including lower shrinkage lower bulk density and higher dehydration ratio, dehydration rate and energy saving than traditional drying. Now microwave heating or cooking can also retain high levels of bioactive component, antioxidant activity and attractive color of vegetables when cooking without water or with a small amount of water. Microwave sterilization cannot only effectively reduce the potential microorganism in food or to ensure food safety but can also inactive the enzyme to maintain the nutrition of food. Also the above due to the above advantages microwave processing techniques have been extensively used in the food industry. Therefore this review focus on the application of microwave processing technologies in last few years. Now moving to the next slide which is principle of microwave heating. Here microwave energy is transmitted as electromagnetic waves and the depth to which these penetrate foods is determined by their frequency and the characteristic of the food involved. Thus frequencies ranges from 300 megahertz to 300 gigahertz and wavelength of 1 millimeter to 1 meter are associated with the microwaves. However, 0.915 GHz and 2.45 GHz frequencies is commonly used for microwave heating. These frequencies are chosen for the microwave heating based on two reasons. Firstly, they are frequency allocated to industrial, scientific and medical radio band, basically for non-communication purposes. Secondly, penetration depth of microwave is greater and more effective at these lower frequencies. Although heating is not necessarily increased with decreasing frequencies, the internal field it can be low depending on the properties of the material. For this reason, 2.45 GHz is widely used in domestic microwaves and some industrial application, while 0.915 GHz is preferred for industrial commercial microwaves. Finally, the exhibited properties of microwaves are coherent and polarizability in nature and they can be transmitted, absorbed or reflected depending on the material type involved. The relationship between wavelength, frequency and velocity of electromagnetic waves are shown. Here, lambda is equal to V by F. Here, 
lambda is equal to wavelength which is in meter v is equal to meter parts again uh, that is velocity and frequency hertz now moving to the next slide which is in figure here the figure shows the benefit therefore includes my, uh, bacterial extraction with the reduced damage to sensory and nutrition property especially when compared to conventional heating thus food industry is said to be the largest consumer of microwave energy where its application has been utilized in thawing baking dehydration melting tempering perspiration stagnation and reheating thus the microwave safety concern and overheating due to non uniform heating during process are included in the setback through this figure we can see quality parameters of micro and conventional heating here f0 denotes accumulated lethality now moving to the next slide which is microwave assisted infrared tempering here tempering is broadly defined as a process of increasing the temperature of frozen food to a point below its initial freezing point at which the product firmness is intact and permits further processing operations in order to ensure that the desirable properties of food products are maintained after tempering microwave infrared heating has been proposed as an efficient and applicable technique microwave assisted infrared heating offers preponderance benefits which improves product quality and increases energy efficiency when compared to conventional heating techniques now coming to the next slide which is microwave assisted ultrasonication Nowadays various food processes utilize ultrasound mainly due to its resultant beneficial effect such as melioration of food preservation assistance of thermal treatments and positive influence on food quality parameters microwave assisted ultrasound drying is considered energy efficient with shorter drying time therefore ultrasound have been applied in numerous food processes including freezing drying sterilization and extraction the application of hybrid process method of microwave assisted ultrasound for food processing technique with concomitant synergistic effect based on theoretical and experimental knowledge should allow for eliminating the defects of each individual technique and thus the combined time and energy has been widely studied for the food industry now moving to the next slide which is microwave drying drying is an age old method of food preservation by reducing the moisture content a drying curve can be subdivided into three phases the first period is one of constant drying rate per unit of surface area During this period the surface is held wet by constant capillary driven flow of water from inside the particle the parameters that decide and limit the rate of drying in the constant rate period describe the state of the air such as temperature relative humidity and air velocity various drying methods have been used for food materials such as air drying freeze drying vacuum drying solar drying and osmotic drying microwave drying has the advantages of achieving fast drying rates and improving the quality of some food products microwave energy combined with other drying methods can improve the drying efficiency as well as the quality of food product which is far better than the achievable by microwave drying only or by other conventional methods only One of the advantages of microwave drying is that except temperature along the corner or edges of food products results in scorching and production of off flavors especially during final stages of drying Now moving to the next slide which is microwave assisted air drying Microwave assisted air drying is one of the methods where hot air drying is combined with microwave heating in order to enhance the drying rate. 
microwave heating can be combined with hot air in three different stages of drying processes at the initial stage microwave heating is applied at the beginning of the dehydration process in which the interior gets heated rapidly at a rapid drying method a stable temperature profile is established in such a way that the vapor is forced outside due to an improved drying rate this creates a pore structure called puffing which can further facilitate the mass transfer of water vapor for drying of high moisture fruits and vegetables a reduction in moisture content is time consuming especially in the final stage of drying microwave assisted drying as a final stage of air drying overcomes these disadvantages with high thermal efficiency hot air drying does not improve moisture loss at the final stage of the drying process since the diffusion process is very slow drying of banana is difficult as it falls under the falling rate period but hot air drying combined with microwave finish drying reduce the drying time by 64% as compared to convective air drying during microwave assisted air drying of apple and mushrooms a minimum air velocity of 1 meter per second was required in order to prevent browning of the food samples when compared to hot air drying microwave assisted air drying reduce the drying time by a factor of 2 for apple and by a factor of 4 for mushrooms the drying process of macadamia nuts is critical since the drying of kernel requires certain control conditions in order to achieve minimum quality standards again the efficiency of microwave assisted air drying of penex shortcut pasta using microwave assisted hot air rotary dryer was investigated by Martelli and Marsoli in 2005 it was observed that the average drying time of microwave assisted drying 18 to 19 minute was reduced by a factor of 10 times compared to that of conventional air drying which is 6.5 hour and with respect to space utilization microwave drying occupied 10% of the floor space than the conventional hot air drying which is shown in the table in summary microwave assisted air drying is found to be helpful at the final stages of drying product especially for fruits and vegetables besides increasing the drying rate Microwave assisted air drying enhances the rehydration capacity of dried product and also overcome the shrinkage problems. In the given table we have seen the product which is used for the drying are pumpkin slices, apple, mushroom, banana slices, kiwi fruits, carrots, american ginseng roots, tilapia fish fillets. Optimum conditions are air velocity air temperature microwave power are given for now moving to the next slide which is microwave assisted vacuum drying during vacuum drying high energy water molecules diffuse to the surface and evaporate due to low temp low pressure because of this water vapor concentrates at the surface and the low pressure causes the boiling point of water to be reduced vacuum drying is preferred for general drying of food stuff reduce pressures lead to evaporation of water at lower temperatures leading to only few organoleptic changes the main limitation is the energy transmission as hot air is not visible contact plates radiation heat or microwave are generally used due to volumetric heating capability microwave are an effective way to transport transmit energy in this system this helps in the falling rate drying periods and reduces the processing time effectively the key difference from an air drying curve is that the drying rate in microwave vacuum drying is proportional to the absorbed microwave power in all phases of the process theoretically 
the drying rate is proportional to the applied microwave power this holds true if all the applied microwave power is absorbed by the sample and the sample temperature is similar which is not always true during end of the drying process volume retention is better compared with hot air due to puffing here from the given graph which shows that the effect of microwave power and vacuum pressure on the drying time the drying time is significantly reduced with an increase in the microwave power intensity as well as a decrease in the mass load applying high vacuum tends to improve the evaporation and volatilization of water from the material whereas it may lead to electrical arcing which might result in the overheating of the product the optimal drying condition of edamins was given as one hot air drying at 70 degree for 20 minute and two vacuum microwave drying at power intensity of 9.33 watt per gram and at a vacuum pressure of 95 kilopascal for 15 minute in summary microwave vacuum drying is applied for heat sensitive materials such as banana carrot potato etc the lo loss of nutrition qualities vitamins and alpha beta carotenes etc of food products by microwave vacuum drying is minimum due to the non exposure of heat and oxygen now moving to the next slide which is microwave assisted freeze drying here freeze drying is considered as a gentle dehydration technique also microwave freeze drying can be applied in two different ways such as freeze drying accompanied concurrently with the help of microwave and number 2 microwave drying applied after freeze drying freeze drying is a special form of vacuum drying the product is initially frozen and afterward dried in a vacuum chamber with a pressure under the triple point of water this facilitates the water to sublimate directly from the solid phase into the gaseous phase heat is transferred like in vacuum drying process by contact heating plates radiant heat or both plate temperatures between 30 degree to 40 degree centigrade are utilized for contact heating or up to 150 degree centigrade for radiant heating this leads to low product temperature throughout the process which results in a gentle process hence freeze drying has the highest retention rates for heat level ingredients of all drying process the main setback of freeze drying is the partial heat transfer rate as there is no constant rate drying period as water is frozen it is not directed to the surface by capillary forces but only by diffusion additionally a dry and porous structure is constructed in the exterior part of the product after surface drying leading to a low and decreasing heat transfer coefficient Moreover, microwave freeze drying combined with the nano scale silver coating significantly reduces the microorganism count than microwave freeze drying of sea cucumber without the coating. In microwave freeze drying of cabbage, the drying rates of microwave freeze drying was twice greater than that of vacuum freeze drying. Most of the microwave assisted drying of fruits and vegetables are performed in lab scale, and most industrial scale application with optimization need to be conducted also the optimal con combination of microwave drying combined with other drying methods need to be determined in order to find suitable microwave power type of drying and order of combination of microwave and conventional treatment the energy consumption for microwave vacuum drying is very low compared to that of other microwave assisted process and hence it can be used for large scale production Moreover microwave freeze drying has the advantages of obtaining products of high quality and better appearance Now coming to the next slide which is microwave cooking here cooking is one of the major applications of microwave 
Various reports have found on the effects of microwave on cooking parameters such as quality, taste, and color retention for various food materials. In many cases, a comparison is also made between the microwave cooking and traditional cooking. In a paper which was published in 2011, uh, reported by two author Cipriona Vanich and Noom Horn, investigated the drying of unfrozen and frozen cooked rice in a single mode microwave vibro fluidized bed dryer to obtain instant dried rice with a good rehydration capability the dried cooked rice should have a good polar structure in addition the whiteness need to be retained for good appearance during rice cooking rice is gelatinized due to water absorption the water existing in bound state exhibits low dielectric constant with respect to microwave heating. In another report, which was published in 2011, two authors, Das and Rajkumar, investigated the effects of various fat levels 5, 10, 15, and 20 percent on microwave cooked goat meat patties. Each patty was cooked by microwave 7. 100 watt comma 2.45 gigahertz to an interior internal temperature of 75 to 80 degree temp centigrade microwave cooking time was found to be decreased with increase in fat level as the dielectric constant and loss factor decrease with fat content also a sample with high fat content possesses a lower specific heat capacity which might lead to decrease in the heating rate, the production yield production is lower for 20% fat level due to the high total cooking loss. It may be investigated that the chemical changes involved during cooking, frying, canning, and microwave heating of skipjack tuna, katsu varnas pelamis. Now moving to the next slide which is microwave blanching. Blanching is generally used for color retention and enzyme inactivation which is carried out by immersing food material in hot water, steam or boiling solution containing acid or salt. Microwave blanch samples were found to have better retention of quality parameter than that of microwave dry samples without blanching. Blanching decreases the volume of food by driving out intracellular trapped air, decreasing the microbial load and removing adverse odors and flavors. The target enzymes are predominantly peroxidized, polyphenol oxidase and pectinases. The conventional techniques use steam, hot solution or hot water inactivate enzyme, however causing leaching of vitamins and other soluble components to the water solution. Microwave blanching is more powerful as it employs high temperature short time treatment of solid foods through volumetric heating. This is essential to maintain heat sensitive nutrients, vitamins and other bioactive compounds, speed of operation, energy saving, precise process controls and faster startup and shutdown time are the major benefits. Since microwave blanching requires no additional water, lower leaching of vitamins and other soluble nutrients is achieved and the generation of wastewater is eliminated or greatly reduced. Microwave assisted blanching is denatured enzymes of fruits, vegetables and other commodities in relatively short time. It was also studied that microwave blanching of peanuts and found that Microwave blanching was better than traditional blanching techniques in terms of energy and time saving. It was also that the microwave blanching of peanuts at high process temperature resulted in the occurrence of stale or floral and ashy of flavors. Now coming to the next slide which is microwave pasteurization mechanism. In this slide. Pasteurization and sterilization are done with the purpose of destroying or inactivating microorganisms to enhance the food safety and storage life. 
Pasteurization is a process in which pathogenic organisms such as bacteria in the vegetative form are destroyed by the thermal treatment. Microwave pasteurization rapidly heat treats and extends the shelf stability of foods with minimal quality damage. Microwave heats the food directly through absorption of electromagnetic energy by the food component. It is put potentially more spatially uniform than conventional heating process that depends on thermal diffusivity from the food surface. Pasteurized foods are generally limited in their capability to endure heat treatment. This is owed to heat sensitive components that will degrade for instance textural characteristics or chlorophyll increased vegetables. Pasteurized foods required to be higher quality, similar to freshly cooked foods, to satisfy consumer expectations and deliver a minimum shelf stable food. Also, continuous microwave pasteurization process is applicable applicable for liquid foods, liquids such as juices, milk and soups, soaps that can run through a microwave permeable tube. Now moving to the next slide which is microwave pasteurization of fluid food materials. Here the application of microwave pasteurization has been largely applied to fluid foods such as pasteurization of fresh juices and sterilization of milk. Microwave well and enzyme activation of various fluid foods such as apple juice, apple cider, coconut, water grape, water juice, milk and sweet potato puree were reviewed. Then microwave pasteurization of solid food materials. Microwave pasteurization of pickled asparagus achieved the required temperature of pasteurization twice as fast as 15 minutes for 1 kW and 9 minutes for 2 kW. Conventional heating for 30 minutes. The thermal degradation of asparagus was more when it was subjected to conventional treating compared to when subjected to microwave heating. Similarly, microwave pasteurization was achieved, able to achieve twofold reduction in the number of Li cyclobacillus acidotetris spores in a cream of asparagus in the at the following process conditions where 100% microwave power for 5 minutes, 92 90% microwave power for 6 minutes and 80% microwave power for 7 minutes. Microwave pasteurization of solid food materials has some advantages over conventional treatment in terms of duration whereas other novel techniques may also need to be combined to obtain the optimal process sequence. Now coming to the next slide which is microwave sterilization. Here packaged food products can be sterilized using various novel techniques such as UV lights, microwave irradiation, ozone and cold plasma. The purpose of sterilization is to improve the safety and extend the shelf life of food. Microwave pasteurization or sterilization can be explained by various mechanisms such as selective heating, electroporation, self-membrane rupture and magnetic field coupling. For the electroporation mechanisms, the electrical potential across the cell membrane can generate pores in cells resulting in the leakage of cellular material. On the other end, in the magnetic field coupling mechanism, vital components of the cell such as protein or DNA coupled in the magnetic field can be destroyed. Sterilization conditions rely on the pH of food. High acid foods such as canned food, juice, fruits and pickled vegetables have a pH less than 4.5. In high acid foods, vegetatives, cells of Clostridia botulinum are killed in a few minutes at 60 degree centigrade and germination of C. botulinum spores is concealed at lower pH. Temperatures above 100 degrees centigrade is necessary to reach sterilization with possible process with low acid products like plain pasta, rice, meat, vegetable dishes that comprise of 
any one component with a pH of greater than 4.5. This can only be attained within pressure retorts or ultra high temperature rapid heat exchangers. Now coming to the next slide which is effects of microwave sterilization on microwave organisms. Microwave radiation including water resisted microwave heating and microwave sterilization can be used to control potential microorganisms in food. The table shows the inactivation of pathogens in foods during microwave sterilization. Microwave sterilization can reduce the colony count of microbes in foods. Moreover, increase microwave power and sterilization temperature or extending the sterilization time could improve the effectiveness of microwave sterilization. Here, microwave sterilization can substantially reduce the microorganism in foods. Generally speaking, different types of foods usually collate with different types and levels of microorganism, which further shows the requirements of different microwave sterilization conditions. Here, in the given table, defined materials are used and defined pathogens are used. Concentration of the pathogens are given. Sterilization method are also given and also the sterilization condition and along with inactivation of pathogens are also given. Here in this which can be observed that 5.12 log reduction of Salmonella typhimurium on gel pen of paper at 3 into 10 to the power 8 colony forming unit per gram using the water resistant microwave treatment at 950 watt to reach temperature at 63 degree centigrade for 25 seconds and also a 4.45 log reduction of salmonella type medium on coriander foliage at 3 to 10 to the power 8 colony forming unit per gram at 63 degrees degree for 10 seconds. Under the same microwave sterilization condition, there was difference between the effect of sterilization of gel pen of paper and coriander foliage. In various other reports that the inactivation rates of salmonella and teratitis in a potato omelette under microwave at 300 watt, 450 watt and so on on various time, it is noticed that higher the power level the faster the inactivation during microwave sterilization. Now coming to the next slide which is effects of microwave sterilization on quality attributes of food product. In this slide we, we can see the effects of microwave sterilization on food quality attributes studied mainly include bioactive substances, antioxidant activity, enzyme activity, texture and color. For the enzyme activity of food products, microwave sterilization can cause inactivation. The in enzyme mostly consisting of protein is easily damaged by microwave processing. Microwave sterilization is beneficial to the maintenance of the food quality by effective decrease in enzyme activity. Here, for texture and color properties of food products, microwave sterilization normally shows minor effects. Here, in this table, which summarizes the texture and color of foods before and after the proposed microwave sterilization. Here it showed no significant changes in the firmness of grape tomato ranging from 2.43 to 2.82 Newton with lower values after treatment. The firmness of gel pen of paper and current air also remained no significant changes after microwave heating which was decreased from 10.93 Newton to 9.29 Newton and was observed from 6.9 1.7 to 8.21 Newton respectively. Here, when the time of microwave sterilization is short, its effects on texture are minor. For example, when microwave sterilization was less than one minute, the texture of the grape tomato, gel pen of paper, and current air remained with no significant difference. On the other hand, for effects on color, which reported that the color of gel pen of paper was significantly affected by microwave sterilization with the lightness decreasing from 30.38 to 24.35 and from 25.98 to 19.61 for current air. However, in, it indicated that all color, color parameters LAB value of grape tomato didn't show significant changes after microwave heating treatments. 
The dis- difference between these results could be attributed to green vegetables used by and red vegetables used by the author. The color of the red vegetables are closely related to the lycopene, which showed no significant changes after microwave heating. From the table, we can also see the material used, sterilization method used, texture, color LAV values are also given in the data. Now moving to the next slide which is microwave heating. Here the mechanism of microwave heating are microwave heating is caused by the ability of materials to absorb microwave energy and convert it into heat. Here conventional heating relies on heat conduction and convection. However, microwave heating such as microwave convective heating and combination of microwave convection and radiant heating is based on volumetric heating which heats the food instantaneously. Microwave heating might also occur due to oscillatory migration of ions in the food which generates heat in the presence of high frequency oscillating electric field. There are many factors which affect microwave heating and its heat distribution and the most important of them are dielectric properties and penetration depth. Now coming to the next slide which is effects of microwave heating on chemical components of food product which is in microwave heating changes associated with chemical components of food products are mainly related to the cook laws antioxidant activity, bioactive components and anti-nutrition components including trypsin inhibitor, hemagglutinin activity, tannins, saponins and phytic acid. Studies shows that the relationship between perimysium granulation, endomysium granulation, thermal denaturation and shrinkage of collagen and temperature which shows in the figure and showed that during microwave heating and water bath heating, the longer the time of beef's semitendinous muscle, the higher the insoluble collagen contents are obtained. Studies were also performed on chickpea with the treatment of soaking, followed by microwave cooking, significantly increased in vitro protein digestibility, increased ratio of 24.4% in content of phytate and tannin levels are reduced by 25.3% and 39.8% respectively. Now moving to the next slide which is a figure. In this figure, scanning electron microscope photograph intramuscular connective tissue of beef semitendious muscle heated to endpoint temperature 50 C E1, E2, E3, 70 C, F1, F2, F3 and 90 C, G1, G2 microwave heating are shown here perimysium and mysium collagenous fibers at 50 degree centigrade, 70 degree centigrade and 90 degree centigrade are given. Now moving to the next slide which is effects of microwave heating on sensory attributes of food product. Here during microwave heating, the changes associated with sensory attributes of food products can reflect in texture and color properties. Food color changes during micro- thermal processing can be influenced by degradation of pigments, oxidation of ascorbic acid, enzymatic browning, and non-enzymatic browning. On the other hand, many investigations on the color of foods, including vegetables and meats with microwave heating, were reported. Then vegetables cooked in microwave can revive the highest scores of color. The denaturation of proteins affect the changes in color and also an increased reflection of light arising from light scattering by denatured protein cause lesser lightness while thermal denaturation of myoglobin and other protein cause lesser redness. For example, it was observed in bovine glutes medium muscle treated by microwave convention heating at 100% microwave intensity had lesser lightness, higher redness and lesser yellowness than those treated at 30% microwave intensity. Similar also reported that semitendinous muscles from fresian mature cows cooked by microwave at 654 watt 
had lesser lightness higher redness and lesser yellowness than those at 182 watt now moving to the next slide which is dielectric properties the ability of a material to convert microwave energy to heat can be understood by knowing its dielectric properties the dielectric properties can be measured by various techniques such as lump circuit resonator transmission line and free space method microwaves are not absorbed by the material due to its electronic or atomic polarization however they might be absorbed owing to its dipole or ionic polarization the dielectric properties of material are mainly determined by their chemical composition and to a lesser extent of physical structure the dielectric properties of food are influenced by numerous parameters such as frequency temperature moisture content and food composition in general polar electronic atomic and maxwell wegener responses of substances in electromagnetic field contribute to the dielectric loss in foods it is seen in the oscillatory migration of charge ion in free solution or intact plants and animal tissues rotary motion of small polar molecules such as water and alcohol and relaxation of protein side chains in bound water over a wide range of frequency 1 to 30000 megahertz the impact of temperature on the dielectric properties of food relies on food composition predominantly moisture and salt content and the frequency in moist food with a slight addition of salt water dominates the dielectric characteristic at microwave frequencies for moist food with salt loss factors augment with rising temperatures at rf and lower microwave frequencies resulting in thermal runaway thermal runaway is characterized by selecting heating of food in an electromagnetic field by accelerating its heating leading to non uniform heating dielectric properties of food also reduce quickly with decreasing moisture content to a critical critical moisture level high temperature can augment the movement of bound water reducing this critical moisture level now moving to the next slide which is conclusion and future trends here compared to conventional drying microwave drying shows lower energy consumption with products having better sensory attributes microwave cook products have the advantages of retaining more taste color quality and nutritional value compared to those cooked by other conventional methods microwave sterilization can be effectively used to ensure microbial safety of food products although microwave has been widely used in food processing it is necessary to strengthen further investigation in certain areas the non uniformity of microwave field the long standing technical barrier to achieving uniform processing of food which can generally lead to hot or cold spots in food microwave has a tech unique characteristic of high frequency processing and its combination with other conventional processing methods can normally effectively overcome the disadvantages of the conventional techniques and therefore future research can focus on developing novel combined processing techniques for enhancing processing efficiency while maintaining product quality and safety the possibility of using microwave energy in innovative ways and identifying novel application will remain an exciting research area and ensure an ever growing field of opportunities now finally the references these are the references from which i have taken help for making this ppt these are the references thank you guys for watching my video and also thanks ma'am for watching this i would like to thank everyone for viewing my videos